So hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Thank you very much for the love and support lately. Like it's been crazy. Like the last few days, my god, the views, the subscribers, everything is just amazing. Thank you very much. And as I mentioned before, I want to hit that 10k before my birthday, 4th of September. So if you could help me and subscribe, it would mean so much to me. It would mean the world to me. And today, I, I mean, you saw the title. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to apply the crib protect correctly. I know it's stupid. But well, some people asked me about it and they wanted me to make a video. I had one like old one, it was really bad, don't go and watch it. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I think, just explain how to use it exactly and how to prevent the boost of getting like yellowing and everything. I've heard so many people talk about boost getting yellow and yeah, stuff like that. You can actually see it in the package here on the can, it's not that complicated. But I'm gonna talk about it step by step and I hope to help some of you out that confuse or don't know how to actually how to use it or apply it or scared to apply it. Yeah, if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe, like this video and let's go. So the most important thing, first thing you wanna do is you need clean shoes. Your shoes should, your shoes you should be either dead stock, the best thing is the dead stock new or you just clean it like fresh clean and then you just apply it because you don't want to apply it on like dirty surface or dirty shoe. It's just gonna prevent like the, the whole thing, the whole concept of the curb protect won't work because they're gonna just protect the dirt from, from coming out. So just make sure the shoe is clean and either new, dead stock or clean. So I'm just gonna grab a new pair and see. Let me see what shoe they have here. Yeah, I got those easy, they're dead stock. I guess I didn't wear them and didn't apply crepe protect on them. So when you apply it on the shoes, you gotta be careful because if you're gonna spray it on the floor, the floor will get slippery. So make sure to just spray it either outside on grass, just put a, like something under the shoes, like a towel or anything that could protect because the spray is gonna be all over the place and you don't want it on the floor or in your desk because it's gonna be slippery as fuck and you're just gonna slip. Trust me, I, I've been there and I, yeah, I don't recommend it. Just make sure to put something under the shoe. And when you spray, before you spray, just shake the can a little bit. Yeah, everything is just written here. You just shake it. And when you spray, you don't want to be this close to the shoe because then you would ruin the material and that's why some people have like the boost yellow because they just go so close that the material just goes into the boost and it just ruins the shoe so make sure to be like this far I would say 20 centimeters it says 20 centimeters you can just be a little bit far away and you just you just spray it as much as you can you can I mean you can do it as much as you want I don't like to put much to be honest because like I can clean these easily. You just spray it around. I don't recommend spraying the sole because it's gonna be slippery as well when you go outside. So I just keep the sole, I don't spray it. I spray just the prime knit all over the shoe. The laces as well, the inside, I don't, spray, don't spray the sole, the insole as well, that's bad. Just the sides. And when you spray them here, you can prevent the jeans coming off on the shoe. When you, when you have jeans on the shoe, you can clean it easily because you have already crepe protect. And I do recommend spraying it like every fourth, fifth week. Depends on the weather and how often you wear them, but I do recommend fourth to fifth week, like it's the best way to spray them. So yeah, I just sprayed the first layer now. We're gonna wait, as it says here as well on the, on the can. You gotta wait 10 minutes and let them air dry. Yeah, I'm gonna come back when they just try and do the second layer on them. And now what we're gonna do, put the second layer on the same, nothing really different. And make sure to, like, it depends, some people get their shoes like dirt on this part, some people on the inside. For me, this part is the worst part, so I spray this part the most. So I like just to, like, I don't know, just spray it a few extra times. Just to make it, to make the layer, like, really thick and really protective, to protect the shoe really well on that part. On the sides here in the back, I don't care. But if you go out a lot with people that step on your shoes, I just recommend spraying the back as well. For me, my family always step back on the back of my shoe. So yeah, I just spray the back as well. And you just can do it, you just mix it the way, the way you feel. And for me, Crepe is the best one working, better than any other brand. I tested most of the brands and Crepe is the one that worked for me the most, the best one. So yeah, it's not sponsored, I'm gonna say that, it's not sponsored, they're not paying me to do that, they didn't even send me free stuff. But yeah, now we get applied the second layer, we're just gonna wait another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna just test it and see if the if the water is gonna go in or not. So yeah guys, I've waited like 15 minutes now, let's check and see if it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. As you can see, the water just goes off, and it's totally dry, like the whole shoe is dry. 
yeah, I don't know if you can really see it on camera. That's how Crimp Protect works, like if you get dirt on your shoe, if you get, I don't know, rain, anything on your shoe, it will just go off and if you get the shoe really dirty, it's easier to clean because you already have a layer of like something protecting the shoe so it's just easy to take it off. Yeah, so I would recommend using it on every shoe. If you if you want if you want to take care of your shoes, I would recommend using it. So yeah, guys, back to what I was saying is I would recommend using it. You can use another other brands, but I would recommend using it a protecting spray on your new shoes if you want them to stay fresh, stay clean. So yeah, make sure to use them correctly. I don't know, like this video feel was stupid, but so many of you wanted to see it, and I did it. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you guys. If you're new to my channel, again, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Holding you